Welcome to the Monty Collier Report. I'm Monty Collier. You know, today there's a lot of atheists running around in a very irrational manner, making an obnoxious claim that only theists are guilty of committing atrocities such as mass murder and genocide. Well, I'm going to give you a couple of quotes today from David Ramsey Steele, who completely contradicts this ludicrous claim. Uh, David Ramsey Steele, as I might mention, is an atheist and a philosopher. Steele writes, and I quote, So many horrible deeds have been done by Christians and Muslims in the name of their religions that a young Christian or Muslim who becomes an atheist often tends to assume that there is some inherent connection between adherence to theism and the proclivity to commit atrocities. The history of the past 100 years shows us that atheistic ideologies can sanctify more and bigger atrocities than Christianity or Islam ever did. The casualties inflicted by communism and national socialism vastly exceed many hundredfold the casualties inflicted by theocracies. In some cases, Mexico in the 1930s, Soviet Russia, and the People's Republic of China. There has been appalling persecution of theistic belief by politically empowered atheists, exceeding any historical atrocities against unbelievers and heretics." End quote. Atheism explained from folly to philosophy from the preface. As you can see, veteran atheist David R. Steele contradicts this crazy claim that only theists commit atrocities. Steele goes on to write, and I quote, I do conclude, sadly, that atheists are morally no better than Christians or Muslims, and that the propensity of people to commit atrocities at the behest of unreasonable ideologies is independent of whether those ideologies include theism or atheism. End quote. Again, take it from Atheism Explained, also from the preface. Calvinists have always known that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Calvinist minister John Cotton, 1584 to 1652, long before Lord Acton, said, and I quote, Let all the world learn to give mortal men no greater power than they are content they shall use, for use it they will. What saith the Lord in Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 5? Thou hast spoken and done evil things as thou couldst. End quote. 